A mobile grocery will serve residents in Tenga three days a week as part of interim measures taken by the housing board to improve convenience while other amenities in the estate are being built. Bread, canned food and toiletries are among the essential items residents can buy from the Fairprice grocery truck, which will be at the Plantation Acres neighborhood on Wednesdays and Fridays, and Plantation Grange on Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. It will operate until the second quarter of 2024, when the supermarket in the Plantation Plaza neighborhood center is expected to open. The HDB said on December 13. The center, located across the road from the two developments, will also have a food court, clinic, shops and enrichment centers, which will open progressively. Vending machines with hot food, such as Nossi Lamak, were installed by HDB in December. The keys for 2019 units, about 54% of the 3,753 units in the first three built-to-order BTO projects in Tenga, were collected by December 5, HDB said. The third project is Plantation Village. Mr. Rafik Samri, 29, who moved into his four-room flat in Plantation Acres in November, said that while the fair price truck is a good initiative, he prefers to take a bus to Bukit Batak for grocery runs. It's about a 10-minute bus ride to Bukit Batak, where there's a Sheng Sion supermarket with wider variety, as well as Lu Quest shopping mall said the patient service associate. Safety officer Zafadli Rawi, 28, who moved into his Plantation Acres forum flat in October, also prefers doing the same. It is a 15-minute walk to Sheng Sayang. He said. The Straits Times reported in October that Tenga residents had highlighted the inaccessibility of public transport in the new town. A poll of 59 residents found that some wanted a direct bus service to Jurong East. HDB said on December 13 that two bus services were introduced to connect Tenga residents to transport hubs and amenities. Service 992, which started operations in September, takes residents to Bukit Data MRT Station and Bus Interchange and Lucrest Mall. Service 870, introduced in November, goes to Jerome Town Hall Bus Interchange. These routes will be extended as more residents move into Tenga, HDB said. For instance, when the Plantation Crescent Road is fully opened, Bus Service 870 will stop opposite Plantation Village and Service 992 will stop outside Plantation Grange. HDB Deputy Chief Executive of Building Johnny Wong said amenities and major transport facilities will take some time to be built up. This is unlike most other BTO developments, which are built within existing HDB towns, where there is already developed infrastructure, as well as existing amenities and facilities close by for residents' use. Residents will also be able to take the Jirong Region line in the future, with Tenga and Hong Kong MRT stations slated to open in 2027 and Tenga Plantation and Tenga Park stations expected to be completed in 2028. Noise and dust from ongoing works in common areas and nearby construction sites have also been a cause for concern for residents that ST spoke to. Mr. Rafik, who lives with his wife and two daughters, a newborn and the other aged three, said he does not open his windows. He added that he bought two air purifiers out of concern for his baby's health. We sometimes also hear construction noise at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. But I know what I sign up for, and I'm prepared to move to my in-laws' home if the noise gets worse. He said. Plantation Grange resident Dinesh Ceylon, 37, said he vacuums his four-room flat daily and even cleans the common corridor outside his home to keep the dust away. We also have to use wet wipes to clean the house. Otherwise, we can feel the dust under our feet, 
said the compliance manager, who lives with his wife. HDB said it is working closely with agencies and contractors to minimize construction disamenities. As most of Tangna Town is still in the construction phase, some noise and dust are inevitable, it said. Contractors now wash the roads twice weekly, up from once a week, to mitigate the issue of dust. Those at HDB construction sites in Tanga were also instructed to ensure debris and dust are kept within their work sites as far as possible. Ms. Arisa Yu, 27, a communications executive, said that despite the dust and noise, she is looking forward to moving into her forum flat in February. Tanga is still an up-and-coming town, so I'm prepared for construction noise and dust for at least the first year. The new bus services also make it quite convenient to reach amenities, she added.